Right, so here we go. I, um, I'm wanting to reprogram this RX-102 receiver. Um, so that I can use it with a MyLoco Sound sound card to trigger the additional effects such as the whistle and the safety valve blow off and so on. Um, at the moment this RX-102 has the output values as they would come when you buy it from the shop. That is all the outputs apart from the last two which are the direction lighting give you servo outputs. So I want them to give me on-off outputs so that when I press a button on the transmitter the output goes down to naught volts so that it will trigger the sound card effects. Um, what I need to do, well I have already bound this receiver to this R uh, TX20 transmitter so if I turn on the transmitter and turn on the receiver you'll see that we get a steady light to show that it's bound to this transmitter. Um, if I press, if let me just see what sort of output we get from pin 5. I'm going to use pin 5 um, as the trigger for the whistle um, because I'm going to be using the bind button and that's on channel 5 so it's easy to remember that I've changed pin 5 so it responds to channel 5 but I could just as easily have any of the other pins responding to the bind button. If I put this LED onto pin 5, make sure I've got it the right way up, black wire to the bottom, onto pin 5. Um, you might be able to see that the LED is on but it's sort of flickering. That's because at the moment this pin is giving a servo output. If I press the bind button on the transmitter, um, not a lot happens. It dims slightly. You might be able to see that, you might not. Um, but it's not give, certainly not giving me 0 volt output. So, uh, by the way, you don't need to put a resistor in line with the LED if you're powering it from the RX-102 as the RX-102 has resistors in line with the outputs anyway. Let's remove that. Now the next thing I want to do is to bind the RX-102 to this PROG3. This is the Deltang PROG3 programmer. Because I want to be able to send the information from the PROG3 to the receiver. So I turn the receiver off. I'll put the bind plug on pins 5 and 7. That's signal pins 5 and 7, the top row of pins. There we are, across 5 to 7. Turn on the receiver and you might be able to see that the LED is flashing rapidly to show it's in bind mode. If I now hold down the bind button on the PROG3 and turn it on you should see that the two LEDs are flashing once a second to show that they're binding. They've now been bound. Turn off that one. And hopefully, there we go, the receiver is now flashing three times, pausing three times pausing. That shows that it's now bound to the PROG3 and is ready to receive signals from it. 
Um, we'll turn it off for the moment so I don't accidentally reprogram it with something I wasn't expecting. And now we're ready to program the programmer with the instructions that we need to reassign the pin 5 uh, to an on-off output. Now to do that you need to go to the Deltang website and consult the chart that's on there for the RX102. Um, here it is, here's one I downloaded earlier. You'll see there's a series of columns and the columns represent the pins on the PROG3. So level 1 or pin 1 is one flash for on-off. Level 2 is what output pin we want to change. In this case we'll want that to be pin 5. Level 3 is what type of output we want from that pin. In this case we want on-off so the value we need to put in for that is 2. The next level or pin on the PROG is what channel we want it to respond to. Well, the bind button is on channel 5, so we want that to be 5 as well. And then the last one is perhaps the most complicated of all, but dead easy when you get your head around it. What we want is that the output from pin 5 will go off, i.e. 0 volts, when the bind button is pressed. So when the bind button is pressed the channel goes low. So here we've got off when channel is low and that's 4. That's The coding is 4 that represents that. So what we want is 1 for menu 1, 5 to show it's pad 5, 2 to show that we want on off, 5 to show that we want it to respond to channel 5 and then 4 which means off when channel 5 goes low. So how do we reprogram? Well it's easy, you just use the bind plugs that come with the PROG. The black bind plug increases the number of flashes on a particular pin, whichever it's connected to, and the red plug decreases the number of flashes. Now when you buy your PROG 3 it will have all its flashes set as 1. Now if you remember we wanted the first value, the value on the first pin, to be 1. So let's check what we've already got on pin 1. So I'm going to put this on pin 1 and connect it to negative. So there we go. One. One flash, one flash. Take the pin off because I don't, uh, the bind plug off because I don't want to change the value on that pin. Now let's have a look and see what we've got on pin two. It should be one because I've just bought this. We want it to be five to represent pad five. So here we go. One. One. It repeats the flash. One, two. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Take the bind plug off. One, two, three, four, five. So pin two as now programmed with a value of 5. Pin 3 we want to have a value of 2 so put the bind plug on it's flashing once 1, 2, it's now flashing twice so take the bind plug off. Pin 4 we want to give a value of <coughs> 5, 2 because we want it to respond to channel 5. So let's put the bind plug on. One, one flash, two flash, 
three flash, four flash, and now five flash. One, two, three, four, five. Take the bind plug off. One, two, three, four, five. And now lastly, pin five, we want to give the value of four that instructs the uh, receiver to turn the output off when it gets a low signal from the transmitter. So pin five, one, two, three, four, five is this one. Put the bind plug on. We've got one flash, two flash, three flash, and now four flash. One, two, three, four. Take the bind plug off. One, two, three, four. So we've now changed the values on the prog. To save those, we press the bind button. It's now remembered those values. So if I now turn on the receiver, Wait until I get three flash to show it's communicating. Yes, there we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. And if I now press the bind button on the prog, you should see the LED on the receiver flash rapidly to show it's receiving the information. There we go. It's flashing rapidly. And now it's stopped flashing. Gone back to three flash. Let's turn off the prog. Let's turn off the, LE, uh, the receiver so that it remembers what the instructions we've just transmitted to it. Turn on the transmitter. Turn on the receiver. There we are, we've got a solid LED to show it's trans the transmitter and the receiver are talking to each other. Let's put my LED back on pin 5. One, two, three, four, five. There's pin five. Now, hopefully, you'll see that we've got quite a strong red light coming from the LED. And when I press the bind button, the LED now goes out, showing that it's going from 3.2 volts down to 0 volts. So we can now use that to trigger the effects on the sound card. Of course you can change any of the values on any of the pins. You can have them going low or you can have them starting as off and going to 3.2 volts so that when you press a button or flick a switch something comes on. And that's basically all there is to reprogramming the RX-102 with a PROG3.